Well, hey, welcome back to week number four of our life group questions for our series, My Big Fat Mouth. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, this isn't Craig. No, let me introduce myself. My name is Sam Roberts. I'm one of our directional leaders here at Life Church, and I've had the privilege and honor of working alongside Pastor Craig now for 19 years. And I tell you what, man, I've, I've had a lot of amazing ups and downs with that guy. He is an amazing guy. But let me tell you, I mean, really, 19 years, I got a lot of like information about Craig, you know. So what if we just start this life group off real? You know, let's just get real. I, I, let me tell y'all something. Y'all wanna know a little something about Pastor Craig? What I'll tell you about Pastor Craig is, now you can't, don't repeat this, but he made sure that week number four we're going to be talking about gossip. Not even right, is it? Why do we lean into gossip? You know, it's a pretty amazing thing. Gossip is just so, so tempting for us to be a part of. Before we get into that, though, I want you to know that uh, even though this is week four, uh, I hope you've enjoyed all of the resources that you've had during this series, My Big Fat Mouth. And there are more resources available to you on our Life Church app or also at the web address www dot go to dot lc slash group okay and there's a lot of great things for you to have there uh, as i mentioned i've been with pastor craig for many different years and over the course of that time he's asked me to preach on a lot of different subjects and he'll he'll talk to me about those and say you know i think you, you bring such a unique perspective on such and such a subject or whatever so when he asked me to preach on gossip i was like what what in the world you think i'm good at this Oh, uh, my goodness. And so, uh, honestly, it was an honor to get to do that. And as I studied about gossip, it was so interesting. The Bible in the book of Proverbs uh, actually says that rumors are like dainty little morsels that sink deep into our hearts, right? It's why whenever I was saying, hey, y'all want to know something about Pastor Craig? Whenever somebody says, hey, you know, I heard, don't you lean in just a little more? Don't you just kind of want to, ooh, I wonder what's coming next? And, uh, and many times we just want to share with people stuff like that. Hey, I know you don't, you don't know this, but we love to share that stuff. It makes us feel important. Why? That's the question. Rumors are dainty little morsels that seep deep into our heart. And as we get started today, I want us to wrestle with that as to why. Why is it that we find ourselves at a place where, man, that gossip is so enticing to us and it just draws us in? We all know that we do it. The question really is, well, why do we do it? And so I think that's a great place for us to start this week in our discussion with our group is simply this question. Why do you think you gossip? And what do you think you're looking to get out of it? Why do you think you gossip? And what do you think you're looking to get out of it? Okay, hope there's some good discussion about why we gossip, and we've, we've kind of got that. But now, let's talk a little bit about who does gossip hurt? Well, in the scripture, in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 28, the Bible says that a troublemaker plants seeds of strife. Gossip separates the best of friends. Maybe there's been some of you who've, man, lived that verse. You've kind of lost a relationship with a, a best of friend or a family member or somebody that was really close to you. And man, gossip can truly hurt people. We talked about that, who does gossip actually hurt? Well, gossip hurts the person that it's spoken about. Gossip hurts the listener. Gossip also hurts uh, the person that is speaking uh, the gossip. What I wanna do right now is just kind of focus in our time, and we don't wanna stand here too long, but let's talk about some of the, the who gossip hurts and how you've seen that actually play out in relationships around you. So we understand a little bit more about why we gossip. Let's talk about who gossip actually hurts and how you've seen that play out. So if you would, read Proverbs chapter 25, verses 9 through 10. What are some of the ways gossip harms relationships? Okay, so we've talked about why we gossip, who gossip hurts, but where we really need to land is how do you not do that? Something that is so tantalizing. And we talked about a few different things in this, this weekend during the message about being able to guard your ears, right? And we talked about some basic questions you can ask about, um, why are you telling me this? Or maybe asking, have you talked to so-and-so about this situation? As some easy questions to ask to try to help stop gossip, to, to be able to also to um, close your mouth, not just guard your ears, but to close your mouth. And, and one of the ways that we talked about doing that is realizing that asking yourself the question, would you want someone 
talking to uh, about you the same way that you're about to talk to someone else if you're not around, right? Essentially, would you want somebody to treat you the way that you're about to treat someone else when you speak those words? So we have to guard your ears, close your mouth, right? But then we talked about something much more rudimentary and fundamental about why we actually gossip. You see, because gossip fundamentally makes us try to feel better about ourselves. And what we begin to realize is when you realize who we are and whose we are, it really helps us to not feel like we have to tear people down. So in essence, what happens is that gossip claims that, well, I'm strong because they're weak, right? Remember, I'm, I'm stronger, they're weaker. That's what gossip claims. But the gospel admits that I am weak, but he is strong. When we find our strength in our relationship with Jesus and who he's created us to be, it becomes a true gossip destroyer for our lives. So what I want us to do is to kind of focus now on some of our next steps to actually destroy gossip from coming out of our mouths and going into our ears. And when we get done with this question, I want you to pray together. Pray and thank Jesus for the gospel, the gospel that he's given us, his sacrifice that we can live from and be not using our big fat mouths to tear people down, but as, as the Bible says, to not, not to, to speak death over somebody, but to speak life, to bring life into them, to get caught, as we talked about, encouraging somebody, right? So as we get ready to wrap up today, our third question would be, gossip claims I am strong because they're weak. The gospel admits I'm weak, but he is strong. What step do you need to take to fight gossip with the gospel? Hey, I want to say a big thank you to all the amazing people at church. You're making such a big difference. Every month, I give you a little behind the scenes what's going on. I'll show you a little behind the scenes in my office in case you're curious where I live most of the week. Uh, this, this is my family. This is Katie who's married to Andrew. Mandy's married to James, but he wasn't married in time to hit the picture. Then we've got Anna. We've got Sam, the soccer player. We've got Steven, and also Buki. And we've got my youngest, Joy. I'll show you my uh, sermon wall over here. This is where I work on messages uh, for the fall. We're going to talk about when the devil knocks. Spiritual warfare, the devil is the deceiver who attacks the minds with lies, the destroyer who attacks the will with pride, the accuser who attacks the heart with accusation. This gives me a visual of what I'm working on. Then I've also got a visual of unusual events on my calendar. And now I've got a visual of the notes that I'm going to tell you today, what's going on in the church. Uh, we just wrapped up my big fat mouth and uh, sisters. I loved uh, what happened out of these two uh, different events. My favorite thing is that we have so many new people in life groups. And so we truly believe that life change happens better in circles than in rows. So thank you to all of you who are leading life groups and engaged in community. Uh, this past week, we had family reunion. We had about 600 staff members travel into one location, bring their spouses. Incredible time of worship, just engaging with each other. And thank you for praying for our staff at all the different locations. Uh, if you're traveling around fall break, don't forget to download the Life Church app. 
You can watch messages, you can listen to worship music, and you can always give. Speaking of giving, I wanna say thank you for your massive generosity. It's hard to believe, but we recently passed over 10 million downloads of free resources to churches all over the world. We've got open network church churches that are booming, like a church uh, led by Zach, Pastor Zach in Denver, uh, reaching totally unchurched peoples because of your generosity. And then we were able to impact people and serve people uh, through the different hurricanes because you give to relief and restoration. We sent money out to different churches and to our mission partners. Thank you so much for your massive generosity. I uh, also want to tell you that I've got a new book that just released. It's a daily devotion. It'll be available later on during the year at the church. Uh, 365 Days of Fuel for Your Soul, Daily Power. Um, also today, a uh, brand new leadership podcast does release. We love to invest in leaders. We believe that we're called to lead people to become fully devoted followers of Christ. Uh, I am honored to teach on leadership for eight years. I've been teaching in different cities. For those of you near Oklahoma City, it's the first time ever that we'll be doing a Catalyst One Day at Oklahoma City. It's on October the 24th. Uh, there are a few tickets left if you go to catalystleader.com and want to join us on that day. I'll be with Levi Lusco teaching on leadership. This weekend is Trending Truth. What is that? Everybody loves viral videos. We're going to let them illustrate teaching from God's Word. It's fun, it's powerful, but you have to be here to experience it because we cannot archive it. Bring your friends. I'll see you this week at Trending Truth. Whoever finds God, finds life.